is up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz. It's a two for Sunday. Hit you twice today. We're doing our eight o'clock tonight YouTube live. Me, Jeff, and Sean talking Buckeye football and all things related. But right now, it's your daily Buckeye Blitz with me. I haven't sang to you guys in a long time. Do you miss it? Probably not. It's, it's the Buckeye Blitz. It's, it's the Buckeye Blitz. You're welcome. Now, on with the program. It's a Sunday fun day. You know how we do it around these parts. Today, hope you enjoyed my freaky list yesterday. Uh, today, I'm talking, uh, we're going to get, we got some awesome quotes from uh, what are now former Buckeyes about future Buckeyes. So, uh, we had guys like Ronnie Hickman, Cam Brown, Zach Harrison, and so on. Uh, talking at the NFL Combine this week, and we got some some insight into uh, who they like coming up and what the future holds at their positions at Ohio State. So, and now they don't have you know Ohio State's uh, SIDs and stuff watching over their every word, so they're a little more free to talk and stuff. So, let's start off with Ronnie Hickman, safety. Um, he says that the second year in the system, looking ahead to 23, uh, should build confidence for the safeties. Uh, in case you didn't know, this is a safety-driven defense, lest you forget. Mark it down. So, the, the, But that also raises the expectations for this returning safety-driven defense, right? Second year, year two. Everybody should be hunky-dory, happy, doing their jobs. Never a mistake, right? Uh, Ronnie had to say, uh, he said, I think those guys will, would be a lot more poised out there. I think if you got, you put guys in the same system again, just the con confidence level goes through the roof. They played a full season with it. They're able to watch the film now and from it kind of build off that. So anytime you can watch the film on certain things and knowing that it'll be the same thing next year, you can make some adjustments and things like that. So should be very a very confident group, I would hope and just have to get rid of any bad habits that might be lingering still. So uh, he was asked uh, who to watch, who's coming in at safety that that he likes, who's who's a young guy we should keep our eyes on. Obviously, he didn't have to say it, but he did. Uh, Sonny Styles, uh, he says Sonny Styles and Kai Stokes can really help that safety depth because um, they lost – two starters, two safeties to the NFL draft. Um, he said that uh, Sonny and Kai are just two guys that are off the charts athletically. He says, I mean, you, we've, you've seen Sonny. I think Kai is going to be a big eye-opener eye as well. Those guys are willing to do whatever it takes to win. They listen. They, they take to coaching well. So I'm super excited to see those guys to have a br really bright future. Uh, he said those guys – who can do it all. Obviously, Sonny's the bigger guy, bigger kind of build, so he can drop down in the box a little bit more. Kai is a little bit faster, more rangy kind of guy, but they're interchangeable, and I'm super excited for those guys. So a lot of good info there on, on Sonny and Kai. Um, next, Cam Brown. Uh, he talked about corners. Uh, he said that they have uh, some young cornerbacks that are turning heads. Uh He's expected that the depth of the cornerback room is going to produce results and potentially elevate the secondary. Um, he, he had a quote that says, I think it's going to be exciting to watch them all compete. There's a lot of them and they all compete. They all want to be great. And I feel like that's what's going to push them to the next level. Hopefully that will bring them out of their comfort zone and let them become more confident. So good info there. Uh, who to watch at corner? According to Cam uh, Cam Brown, he said that Denzel Burke has a different mindset this spring. Uh, he had a solid freshman year, uh, dropped off as a sophomore. We all know shoulder injury he had in training camp last year. Then the hand issue that required surgery in September last year limited his practice reps basically for the entire season. Um, but Cam had this to say. He said, I talked to a lot of coaches at Ohio State, and Burke has a different mindset coming in this year. I mean, he's young. He's got to put in – he got put into the fire when he was young. He had a great first season, but not everything went his way after that. He just needs to take off with it now. Uh, he's going to be a great player. His potential is off the charts. And after that setback, I – think he's finally realized that what he can do and he can do it so all right so watch out for Denzel Burke 
Zach Harrison, defensive end. Oh, uh, he he mostly just talked about uh, who to watch. Um, he wanted to name the entire uh, defensive line room, but uh, he said Caden Curry is is the big one. Uh, Harrison said this. He said uh, one guy I'm excited about is Caden Curry. He was a freshman last year, but he's going to be a real good player. Just the way he moves and his motor never stops. I'm excited to see what he does. He said, uh, really, I feel that way about everybody, but he's a guy that stands out to me. He's going to be a really good player. Uh, in the future, defensive ends. Uh, first year guys, Amari Abor and Kenyatta Jackson. Abor is returning from a leg injury. Jackson needs to be more consistent. Harrison had this, this to say about the DNs. He said, Amari is just figure, still figuring it out, but you can see flashes where it's in there. He's going to pull it out, and he just needs to get a little bigger in the weight room. I'm excited to see what Amari does because he can be real good, a real good player for the Buckeyes in the future. Uh, about KJ, uh, Zach had this to say. He said, KJ is going, Kenyatta Jackson, obviously, is going to be one of those guys that is going to be the next up. One of Some of the things he does, he doesn't even realize they're special because he's just out there just playing football. I'm telling him, like, KJ, bro, not everybody can do what you just did. He doesn't even realize that yet because he's still so young. So a lot of good info, especially on the Buckeye defense there and who's who's next, who's coming, uh, who to watch for. I uh, really feel good about the safety room um, up in the air on the corners, but we'll see. I do like the insight from the former players as they're transitioning into the NFL. So that's all I got for you today. Don't forget, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, YouTube Live. Check it out. I'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.